All right, welcome back to a brand new video of the Target Ninja program. Target Ninja Spirit. So I left uh, the house with my son to go pick up my, uh, my daughter, his sister, and I forgot my case. So I said, okay, you know what? Uh, we just gotta walk real slow. I haven't even reached half a block yet, and my uh, left uh, back muscle, particularly my lower back, between the you know the upper part of my gluteus maximus. <laughs> And my back muscle uh, just got really, really tight on me, so I had to send him back to get my cane. Um, but again, I want you people on. I want people to understand who watch my videos, right? To give you a TI, okay? And how they are constantly doing things to manipulate your mind into acting in ways that is uh, self harm or self detriment. Specifically, self harm and self detriment, right? and understand what it is and understand how that they can use propaganda, use psychological conditioning, use uh, technology created to manipulate our minds without us even becoming consciously aware of it uh, and how those things come into to play in terms of how they manipulate not just you but also people in your community, family members, right? And particularly, like I said, when you look within particularly at the black community, if you're a TI, you would be a white, whatever, whatever, like I said, white, Asian, Hispanic, what have you, right? As targets, as TIs, people have, who have been put into non-consensual human experimentation, right? In the guise of whatever they want to call it, uh, national security, public safety, um, you know, that sort of thing, right? All, you always got to remember that the United States have always used psychiatry as in a repressive form when it comes to dealing with this black population. Okay? When it comes to, uh, and I should say non-white population. Right? And when it comes to the white population, they are treated with more empathy, more understanding. Right? And again, you know, if you go, you read the book, um, uh, 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 um, should I forgot the name of it? But it's 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 a book that dealt with how the term schizophrenia, oh, it's how schizophrenia became a black disease, right? Because prior to the civil rights movement, people that were labeled with schizophrenia, in terms of when you list when you look at the, their uh, symptoms, it was. Uh, that this which that did not include uh, um, violence. It did not include um, uh, you know aggressiveness and antisocial type of behavior or anti-establishment behavior. But it wasn't until the, during the civil rights movement and after that the, there was a new definition um, when it comes to uh, schizophrenia, and that with the inclusion of aggression, violence. And that was attributed to black civil rights leaders, black uh, civil rights activists, and those that engage in civil rights activism who were black. That is when you start to see a redefinition of schizophrenia. Okay. So again, on you know, if you don't know history, this is why again, knowledge is important. History is important that we learn and we understand history because if you don't understand history, the bad things about history and the people who are in power who create negative situations a negative outcome for us all right they will continue to do these things because guess what they understand that within the society that there is a high level of ignorance there is a high level of, of lack of knowledge lack of understanding and so they continue to perpetuate these things right so again you know, just like I said, we, we just you gotta be a, you gotta be aware of it, and you know this is one of the reasons. Like I said, whenever we are being hit with microwave and radio wave frequency, and they are manipulating our minds, stuff like that. You know, for me as a, as an adult male, right? I know what it is that they're trying to do is to cause has to, this 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 hostility between the other adult and myself, right? And therefore create. Uh, trauma in the minds of our kids because they see us arguing and I just I'm not going to do that you know I, I'm you know I say what I say and then I, I, I leave I'm not going because you know I'm a, I'm a person I will argue with you 
right? But I'm not going to hold your disagreement with me as some sort of tool that I can use to to tear you down. I'm not going to do that. Right? That's why, you know, perhaps you can never feel like, you know, I never understand how, you know, we can be arguing one minute, and the next minute you're, 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 you want to hug, you want to kiss, what have you. I said because my love is not conditional, right? When I like somebody, I love somebody, it's not conditional. I understand that we have our disagreement. But that does not uh, supersede, uh, you know, my love for you or my like for you or my care for you or my concern for you. And, and that is our issue. Our issue, particularly within the black uh, population, is that um, we can forgive everybody else, but we can't forgive each other. Okay? Yeah, we can, you know, we can love everybody else, but we can't love each other. Right? Understand how we're conditioned. Okay? Talk to you guys in the next video.